Good morning and good afternoon, all, wherever you are. Um, it's Greg Milner here at Worldwide Salon Marketing. And we decided to run this webinar uh, because we get so many um, calls from salon and spa owners uh, upset about nasty uh, reviews on their Google listing. Um, and uh, it's almost impossible to get rid of them. Uh, so today uh, I'm joined by Jenna Riley from Forest Software in Brisbane. Hi, Jenna. Hello. Over Hello. <laughs> Uh, but before I do, I just wanted to uh, uh, give you a little bit of background on why these uh, Google reviews are so important and so important to get good ones. Um, this is a typical search that people do when they're looking for a hair or beauty salon or service uh, in their local area. This one happens to be Subiaco. It's a suburb of uh, Perth. And you'll see here that the first thing that appears are these three listing he listings here. They're, they're Google business listings. Now, that those three listings there are the most valuable real estate you can have online because they get 90 or 91% of all the business generated by that search. Hardly anyone goes into more businesses because they don't need to. So this is one of only three ways you can be on the first page of Google. Um, the other two ways are your uh, own website, of course, if it's ranked highly enough, and any ads that appear and they usually appear at the top. They're the only three ways that you can be on the first page of Google. If you're not on the first page of Google, you're pretty much invisible. But having a bad review in here can do a lot of damage to your business. And today's webinar is really about stopping those bad reviews, those nasty reviews, um, even uh, reviews from competitors who are trying to do you some damage um, from actually ever appearing there. And so what I wanted to do uh, is hand over to uh, Jenna. There's there's masses of free information about this on our website, uh, worldwidesalonmarketing.com. But for this particular exercise, I want to hand over to Jenna from Forest Software in Brisbane. Uh, Jenna, thanks for joining us. Um, how difficult is it uh, for businesses who get bad reviews? Yeah, thank, thank you so much, Greg, for providing that overview. I think it's um, there are there are very many pain points that clients face with online reviews. And we hear of a lot from clients on a daily basis. So one of the main ones, and I'll just share a document with you. Okay. So here are some pain points that we've found that clients have given us feedback about their frustrations with online reviews. So the first and foremost, um, not knowing they have reviews. So some clients don't even know when they get reviews and also how many they have. So it's important to know if you're doing well or not so well so you can improve on your reviews. Not responding to reviews is another challenge clients face because they do get so busy it just gets lost because they have to go to Google, they have to check it, they have to respond to clients. So there are some ways I'll go through in the demonstration on, on how we can resolve that. Another one is not being able to delete reviews. So I'm sure you've heard this from many clients. Clients aren't able to delete bad reviews if they do get a not so good review. Absolutely. We get uh, calls regularly from uh, salons and spas uh our member salon saying, look, I've got this terrible review. Um, what can I do about it? And uh, frankly, there's not a lot. Um, there are companies, um, businesses around the world who um, pr uh, promote themselves as being able to get rid of reviews, but they, they might be able to on TripAdvisor or Facebook, but not on Google. Yep, yep, absolutely. So I think that's a huge frustration is when they do get a bad one, they don't know how to deal with it. So that's another frustration. Uh, not learning from reviews. So I think it's important to take it as a positive when you do get a not so good review and you can actually turn that review into a positive review by contacting the client and resolving that. So being on top of it is definitely important. And not knowing how to ask clients for reviews. So we do hear that a lot, that salons do feel frustrated on how do I ask clients for reviews? Do I ask them when they're in the salon? Do we send an email? They're a little bit unsure on how to deal with that. So there are some tools which I'll go through where we make it all automated for clients. 
This is um, reasons why online reviews are definitely very important. So I'm just going to explain um, some of the, these statistics. So 85% of hair and beauty salon customers look at online reviews. So that's almost everyone will actually go to a salon um, Google review and actually look at their salon reviews before they go in. 94% of customers say that positive online reviews will make them more likely to use a new business. So I think that's a very important stat too. Almost everyone is going to look at those positive reviews and then make that judgment if they do want to go to that salon. And 75% of customers say they trust online reviews as much as personal recommendations from family and friends. So that's some really powerful stats of why it is really important um, to have a good online reputation. Would you agree with that, Greg? Oh, absolutely. With those stats? Absolutely. Yep. Perfect. Yep. So the next uh, slide I'm just going to go to is your online rep reputation is all about your digital image. So what this means is it's like your digital storefront. So when clients go to look online, you want everything in your business to reflect what's been said about you online, similar to when they go into, into the salon um, with your service, all of that, you want it to reflect and be transparent exactly the same as if they were going to you. So the one thing we want to do is actually proactively ask customers uh, to leave online reviews. And I'm going to go into the Forest software and just show everyone how we help clients do that. So I'm just going to share a new screen. While you're doing that, Jenna, just to yes. remind our uh, attendees that uh, there's a Q&A button down at the bottom of the screen. If you'd like us to answer any questions, just pop your question in that Q&A um, screen and we'll do our best to uh, answer them. Yeah, perfect. So this is um, for everyone who hasn't seen the forest system. We have a, a full marketing suite, but in here we've got um, one of our most popular features is the Google reviews. So I'm just going to show you how that works. So I've just select the review section in here and it pulls through all reviews um, from all clients. So what we do at Forest is we send an automated review to the clients once they've been into the salon. Now, if the client gives a five-star review, then we can actually prompt the client to share that on Google. So in here, you can see the client, the staff, the services that were performed, the rating, so the one to five rating, um, one being the worst, five being the best, and then the actual review in here. Now, one thing we also notify you of, which is really important, is um, your bad reviews also. So you can get back in contact with the client and then be able to resolve that review. So in here, it's going to pull through all your reviews. So we send an SMS or an email to the client, first of all, where they select that rating. If they give a five-star review, then we actually prompt the client. We say to the client, thank you. Can you please share this on Google? So quickly and easily, you can get your Google reviews up really quickly. And I'm just going to go into Google and just show you an example of some of our clients that actually have um, top reviews. So let's just go into here. Okay. So I'm just on Google at the moment and I'm actually going to type in some of our clients that actually have um, the review, the online reputation feature set up. So if I type in Orb Hair, so this is Orb Hair. So they've been with us about three years and they have 335 Google reviews uh, with Forrest. They're also at 4.9 stars. So as you can see here, every time a client gives a positive review, we actually prompt it to Google. So we send a client a message back saying, thank you, please share this to Google. And it's added onto your Google business page. Now, if I type in an area like a geo area, such as New Farm, which is located in Brisbane, hair salon New Farm, um, all pairs also appeared there. So they have 4.9 star 335 Google reviews. We also have Luke Reynolds and Signara, so 4.8, 4.9. You can see most of these clients have over 100 Google reviews and they're quite high. 
So if you do look at reviews and you can see um, quite a high rating of salons, they're either with Forest or they're paying an agency a lot of money to do that manually. Um, so we help increase those reviews. On average, clients get about 135 Google reviews with Forest a year. Um, so definitely um, helps with the overall rating on Google. Just going I think back. It's, uh, it, it, it's worth noting, Jenna, that, that uh, the number of reviews or positive re reviews you get um, has a um, an influence on where your salon ranks in uh, in Google searches, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So Google sees that as this salon must be a really good salon, so we're going to promote this salon more. So it definitely helps with getting higher um, when a client does search in particular areas. And also, I think it's important to note also. When you have a lot of reviews and you're constantly increasing them through that automated feature, it's really hard for salons to catch up to you because you're always ahead. You're always getting more reviews. You're always getting top reviews. So it is, it is good to start now because other salons will be trying to get that, but you'll always be ahead of the game. So I think that's also important also. Uh, so this is just... Um, an example of our automated and SMS email review that goes out to clients. So on the left-hand side, this is an SMS that we send. So it's great to see you today. Let us know about your service here. They click on that link um, and then it'll ask for the one to five rating or you can send an email. So in here, I've got customer service is amazing. Um, I love my new look, etc. So the client has given a good review um, and then if the client gives a five-star review, we go back and we'll ask the client to post it. So this is how quick and easy it is, as you can see in here. It will actually say, it, if you took 30 seconds to post this review to our clients, all they do is click that link and it will um, submit it to Google. So, so they don't uh, actually have to write it in, into Google. It just does it straight out of the software. Correct. Yeah. So it will actually go to this page where you just submit the review. So it's really quick and easy for the client too. So um, they're more than happy to do it as well once they see the process. Uh, this is just um, what I showed you before. So that's just our clients that are already on Google. And on average, um, 135 is roughly what clients get on average when they use the automated review feature in Forest. How important is it for um the business owner to actually reply to uh, positive comments? Um, it's actually really easy. So this is the next feature I'm just about to discuss with you. So it's called the Online Reputation Manager. So I'm just going to share my screen again and show you the live version in Forest. So we actually have a dashboard that pulls through all your Google, your Facebook and your Yelp reviews into one location. So in here, I can go in and see how, um, how my reviews are going um, each day, each week. Um, whenever I want to have a look at that, I can do it all from the forest system. So having that um, access really quickly and easily and not logging through different platforms all day to keep on top of them. I can also respond to clients also from here. So we'll go through this in my other slides, but I think it's definitely important to respond to good and bad reviews so clients can see you're being proactive and from that customer service aspect. Um, it is, and I'll go through this in one of my documents, but what's really important is don't be scared of bad reviews because everyone gets them. Like we're all human and it is important just to get back in contact with the client. So we'll go through that also. But this is how quick it's Greg, you just asked how easy it is. If I just click this, I can respond directly from here um, just by selecting respond and it would respond directly to the client from here. So I would go to my Google reviews and then click respond and then I can actually just type in the review then it'll go back to the client. So really quick and easy. You can see the review in here and then you can enter your response. So clients um, will be able to see that. Um, also from um, some of the stats also about how important it is to respond to um, negative reviews. Um, one in two clients, if they provide a negative review, will actually expect a review back to the salon. And, um, and also with that client, they expect you to do it within a week. So it is important to keep on top of that. 
Um, so I'm just going to show you some more stats just in relation to that. So this is just talking about also negative reviews. So um, it is likely at some point you'll have an off day and someone will leave you a not so good review. So um, it's going to happen. Don't be scared of it. Turn it into a positive, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. For every customer complaint, there are 26 other unhappy customers who have remained silent. So furthermore, these unhappy customers are going to tell between 9 to 15 people about their experience. So you don't want that. You want to be able to resolve it. And it's a negative review is always better than silent resentment because it's word of mouth where clients will actually go and um, tell those clients. Um, also, um, you can turn this negative into a positive. So most of the time, I think it's really important to note, most of the time, a lot of staff and managers and owners of salons will get really will get quite worried about contacting a client um, in regards to their review because they'll think, oh, I don't want to get abused, this and that. And it's a little bit daunting. Most of the time, a negative review turns out to be something minor to fix once you speak to that client. So it's better just to pick up the phone, have a quick chat with them. Most of the time, it's quite minor. And then you've actually turned that customer around. Um, when a customer is unhappy, I think it's also important um, to mention in some way, it's just letting you know that they're actually passionate about what your salon provides and good customer service matters to them. So it's better to turn them into an advocate um, by actually contacting them and resolving that. Um, also, it's important um, that you get that honest feedback because if you don't get feedback, how are you going to improve in your salon? So it's definitely um, going to make a difference. Um, on, it's like that learning curve and, you know, what can I do different next time? And it gives you that feedback. Um, discussing the negative comments with your team is a learning experience. So um, in the review section, you can actually see also the staff that the review went to. So you can also speak to the staff member and then, you know, have a chat to them and take it as a learning experience. Um, one thing also with our reviews, so um, because we're only posting the good reviews, it's going to push down those bad reviews. So it's the more and more reviews you get, if you do get a not so good review, it's going to go down the page because you are prompting those positive reviews. And the last point I just want to mention also in regards to this is if you do save a potential lost client, think of the long-term value of that client for your business. It's not, not just about that appointment, it's also about the long-term value. Uh, for your business. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this is just talking about 95% um, of salon reviews that are using Forest are actually five-star reviews. So that's how high it is to get your top reviews up and how easy it is. Uh, so um, just to recap, um, I think it's, um, yeah, definitely important to, um, have that online presence and also always, um, yeah, just always getting reviews because everyone does use online tools to look at your business. Um, we do make it really easy. We do it automatically. There's nothing you need to do but just check those reviews and see how you're going. So the good ones will be highlighted in green. If you get a bad one, you can contact the client, but you can also respond to the clients directly from Forest. So, um, it's, it does make a difference managing it from one section and knowing where you are with that. Um, this is just a bit of an overview about Forest. So um, we do free online demonstrations. So it will be with Rebecca Lawrence or myself. And what we do is we do, it goes for about an hour where we, we run through all the features. Um, we learn about your business and just show you the tools um, that we think. Um, can help you grow your business and manage your business on a day-to-day. -day. Um, we're a market leader. We operate in nine different regions, but we're actually based in Australia. Um, for You will only be dealing with the Australian team. So we've got help desk, we've got free training, um, and we've got over 9,000 salons globally. So, um, yeah, this is a bit of a tagline, but we are Forest and together we grow with you and your salon. Uh, just Jenna, yeah. Yeah, you've got a, you've got an offer for people watching this webinar. Uh, 
Definitely. So we have an exclusive offer. Um, if you do proceed with Forrest, um, the special offer is 50% off the setup fee. And we also include 2,000 free SMS in your package. So with that SMS, um, it does go, you can use it for your marketing, your confirmations, um, and we just add that to your um, your account. And then, um, yeah, we just show you how to use the system. We provide free training. Um, we do the migration of data if you're coming from another software company. So we do all the setup and everything. Um, and we're also based locally. So we're here um, if you do need anything and we're here throughout your journey with Forest. So from start to, to complete setup, how long does it all take? Uh, so it does um, depend, depend on your availability and, and what we have um, in the calendar, but it's usually really quick. So um, first of all, you would do a welcome call and onboarding call with our team, which goes for about an hour. Um, they will just go through your questions. They'll get you set up so they can actually um, do the data migration and get everything up and running. Um, what they'll also do on that day is they'll just book you in for a training and also uh, for your start date. Um, we do all the setup and everything. So it's usually about um, roughly about seven to 10 days to get you up and running, just so it's a smooth process. But if you do need to go um, before or after, we just work in what works in with, um, works in with you. Okay, a couple of questions from uh, yep. from viewers. Um, yes. Can I see individual staff members' reviews anywhere? Um, absolutely. So I'm just going to go into that. So if you go to the marketing section and reviews, um, you can see staff in here and you can actually search by the staff member in here and it will actually bring it up. So if I type in Joey, it's going to bring up all of Joey's in okay. here. Yeah. Yep. So you can filter it. Um, you can also do it by the client name and you can also do it by the date range. Fantastic. Um, another question. Can I personalise the message the client sees when they're um, asked to leave an on online review? Yeah, absolutely. So in here, this is where we set it up in reviews. So when I go to settings, uh, you can choose when you want it to go out. So you can have first appointment only, max once per month or every appointment and you have an SMS or an email review. So we can put all of your branding images in um, and your salon voice in there. So you've got your SMS review where you can put the, whatever you want to say in the SMS, or if you send out email, you can do it in here. And it's quite customizable. And one more, um, yep. if my client doesn't choose to leave a review, can I follow up again and ask? Absolutely. In the online reputation feature, we can actually um, auto prompt reviews where we can actually go back to the client um, and clients that have left reviews, you can actually go back into here where you can get clients to leave a review if they haven't already given you a review. Excellent. Um, can you just go back to that offer again? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll just bring this up. So what we'll do is we will... It's in the Q&A, it should be. Uh, let me just check. We can actually, we'll send a link in the Q&A um, that everyone can have, but we'll also email it out to everyone also if you do want a free online demonstration. So this is the offer. I'll just bring this up again. Yeah, 50% off the setup fee and you also get 2,000 free SMS and I will just go into the chat. So Q&A, here we go. So if everyone goes into the Q&A, just going to, Greg, are you able to add that in please? Because it's not allowing me to add it in the Q&A. I think so, yep. Thank you. So Greg's just going to add the link in. So if anyone wants an online demonstration, um, you just click the link, submit your details, and then um, we will get in contact with you to organise a demonstration of Forest. I think I've just sent it. Yep, I did. Perfect. That's great. Thank you, Jenna. Okay. Yeah, uh, thank you so that. much. Um, I, just... I think there might be another... 
Oh, oh, yes. One more question. Can you integrate with an online booking system? Uh, yes. So we set up your online booking. Um, another benefit with the online booking system is we can also take deposits um, upon booking. Um, we can even set your no-shows and um, new clients to, as an example, 100% deposit because they're usually the ones that cancel. Uh, so we have an excellent online booking system. We can even add a book now widget, which is a floating widget on the page. What that is, it's like a call to action. So um, no matter where you are on a website, it will appear a book now button, which will open up with all of your categories. Um, you can even have staff bios on there. So you can have um, descriptions of what staff do. You can have different pricing for staff, different durations. Um, you know, based on their service, but really um, quick and easy for a client to book in. Um, if I'm an existing client, it also has my rebooking history. Um, and we also have a sell and branded app, uh, which is your own app in the App Store and Google Play Store. Clients would actually search for your business name to download the app where they can book in really quickly. I can go rebook, same staff, select the date and book in. So it has all my history, my upcoming appointments, and showcase special offers. And um, we can also even link an online store and also your online gift vouchers in there. Um, so generating that revenue 24 seven. Fantastic. Perfect. Okay, all right. Uh, if there's no other questions, thank you very much, uh, Jenna. Yeah, um, perfect, thank you. Thanks yeah, for having uh, me today. It's good to see that there is a way of stopping those nasty reviews um, contaminating your online presence. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you all. And uh, don't forget to uh, come to uh, Forest if you need help with that or uh, Worldwide Salon Marketing, uh, worldwidesalonmarketing.com uh, if you need help with any other uh, online issues, website, SEO, Google and Facebook advertising, etc. All right. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you, guys.